The presidential election petitions court has adjourned the petition filed by Labour Party to 19th May for further pre-hearing. The adjournment of the court was at the instance of the Labour Party uh, that sought for more time to tidy up its processes. Judiciary correspondent Celestine Area reports. Substantial progress in the petition filed by Labour Party has not been made. Today's pre-hearing session started with an altercation between the acting national chairman of the Labour Party and supporters of the abbreviated faction of the party. Mr. Papa has approached the faction seeking to know why they are in court. He, however, decided to leave the issue to rest. When hearing the petition has properly commenced, Lamida Papa, as well as the national women's leader of the party, Dudu Lamungu, tried to make an appearance for the Labour Party. Justice Harona Tamani noted that if two persons are making an appearance for the party, they will not be put on record. Counsel to Labour Party began with addressing the court on the order issued by the court the last adjourned date. He told the court that the Independent National Electoral Commission is yet to give them over 70% of the documents they had requested from the commission. He stressed that an ex-resident electoral commission in River State told the party that he has no form EC8A to give to the party. He prayed the court for an adjournment to enable him to regularize his processes. Counsel to the President-elect, however, disagreed with the submissions of counsel to the Labour Party as the order of the court at the last adjourned date was for parties to cooperate and narrow down issues. Counsel to Anek noted that the issue raised by the Labour Party is the refusal to pay the sum of 1.5 million naira as legal fee for the CCT document that is sought to receive from Secretary State. And also, as pertaining to the document from River State, part of the documents were given to the political party, but they insisted that all documents must be brought in before they could accept any documents from the commission. INEC has a lead counsel. I believe that something good may come out of a chat that I'm supposed to have with him today. How you display yourself here shows how you intended to lead Nigerians, and this has not been a very good example. Trouble again started after the pre-hearing session when supporters of a brilliant faction of the party refused an acting national chairman, Namidia Papa, to address the press. This led to serious altercations between both factions as it took the intervention of security personnel to restore peace to the courts. Celestina Iria, TVC News, Abu.